starting now and right off the rip we've got two uh, we've got a specialist and then a perk being banned, overclock and overdrive, and both of those kind of speed up the game, and, and, and it's clear that Optic's trying to slow it down or even ele elevate, yeah. So we've got a flashbang being banned. I'm, I'm curious, man. I would love to see an MA ban. I, I just, I'm waiting for it, and I just don't know if it's going to happen because every pro... Every pro team really knows what they yeah. want to do going into a match. Oh, just going with the camo ban. Playing it safe again. I mean, I was waiting. I was with Revan on that one. I mean, the Flashman's ban, but do you protect the concussion? Optic is not giving those options up to elevate. They know exactly what they want to take out of the game. Yeah, it, it's still, like, picking bans, is, it's one of those things where they normally stay the same. I was actually surprised that we got to see some rapid fire uh, in that search and destroy of all game types to have rapid fire available. We got the RC car getting banned as well. So, I mean, really, there's no point in any players running with flak, no tack mask. So we're going to see some some movement-heavy players with their perks. Yeah, I mean, it looks as standard as can be once again, especially from Elevate side, Revan. That's what you were talking about. They're missing their chances to throw Optic off their game. Yeah, I agree. Once again, the Shiva makes it through. Maybe we'll see that coming to play on a map like Fringe. Of course, those long range of sights, the Shiva can really dominate. But also, we might see some smoke grenade action here on CTF. That's true. It did go through on the protective band phase, so the smokes are still alive on this capture the flag. Revan, what are your key points on this map specifically for this mode? Alright, so I think this map is a lot about how you react when you're going to be on the over extension. So when you're attacking this flag, the other team's main spawn is going to be over here near this auto area and of course it could seem easy to just rotate back but when you have a player maybe set up on this grandma's roof who could get a direct line of sight on you exiting you're kind of like well now we have to overextend all the way through auto and sure you have some options do you go through back alley do you go through bricks middle map or go through the side door here you have some options available to you but you get a well set up player maybe over here at this back truck and he could cut off all these different avenues that you have available to you and that's where we might see the smoke grenades come to action so when you're Pushing back through auto, if you're able to maybe smoke this player out, now this route that I drew towards back silos, it looks a, a lot more friendly and a lot more easier to manage. And on the other side of things, when you're going for the flag that's right here outside barn, you don't know where the heck those defensive players are going to be because, I mean, just look at this. They could be anywhere behind that arc I just drew. So if you just drop a smoke right on the flag, you casters you and you, your smokes. You could go right through the barn. You will not see through. smoke on this map, I promise. Again? You, know, you said that last time and Looney was using no, smokes. No, 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 and no. I, I bet your boy Scumpy over there is going to be using smoke grenades. If Scump's got a smoke, I will... What will you do, Nate? Choose your words Listen, carefully. if Scump is using a smoke grenade, you have to give me a follow five on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't even think that's Well, Revan, just play for your own benefit. You guys are both greedy as hell. All yeah. right, well, we're going to move Whoa. on to the game. Because you guys are going to talk about what you do, Chobra. If Scump's not using smoke, they got to buff the Weevil even more. All right, that's the deal you got to make with Bondar. Or I'm okay with that, though. I love the, the Weevil. Weevil. <laughs> <laughs> well, smokes or not right now, Elevate needs to find something to win because they followed suit in banning out that concussion and taking out those things that can actually give them that mental edge against Optic. So we'll see. Can Optic close out the Series 4-0 to face Rise in the Grand Finals this weekend in the Call of Duty World League presented by PS4? Or is Elevate going to make that battle a little bit harder? We'll find out as we go into the game with Courage and Mr. X. Nate is yelling about buffing the Weevil, and I see David Vonderhaar about seven feet to his right. I'm ready to just see him jump on stage and attempt to strangle out Nate. Hey, it's, it's obviously it, it, uh, WrestleMania. I mean, <laughs> it, it would, it would just card, make sense, right? right? It, it yeah. would fit in with everything no, else. Look, Nate, Nate just had to run off stage right, right there. In front of the camera. He's, he's trying to get away, and now Von hops off. But no, the man is reckless. As, as we get into this game four, it's Elevate down 3-0. They're least of their worries. The Weevil getting buffed right now. As no. they've got an optic gaming squad who's getting it done with every weapon that they use. Matt, do we see a game five? No. We well, don't. Wow. Okay, you I'm pulled the rep. You pulled the rep in there. With, you the way, <laughs> with the way we've seen Elevate play, I'd be shocked. And I, I think it's a little bit to do with the way Elevate's play. They haven't looked as good as they've looked in the previous few weeks. But I think it's more you know, optic gaming really coming to life here. Well, off the start of this one, it's going to be formal. Getting right into a position at this white truck. And, well, he just got blown off the map. Grim6 left last alive. Pressure coming in from all different areas. Doing what he can. But not going to happen. Nice for dead momentarily as Elevate all are already in Optic Gaming Space. It's going to be Pacento starting huge here. Taking up four kills right off the rip. He's getting close to that Lightning Strike and it's actually going to be Aqua behind him. He's going to pick up the flag. And caught on that corner for a second. 
He has one player from Optic Trailing. That's going to be Krim. He is home free. All they need to do is watch that back alley, and it looks like Remy's in position to do so, and this is a cap. And more importantly, Vicento's going to get streaks off of this as well. Great start for Ooh, Vicento. Actually, 25 off. 25 so. off. Definitely going to be something to watch. Look at Aqua still putting pressure on Optic Gaming. Finally, they clear him out. Love seeing these smoke grenades from Facento. Expect to see them be in use in this game. Really, you know, any good analyst would know smokes are very popular in CTF. Hey, job. You can see Vicento trying to make his way down tracks. I think he should just play this door, small corner door and just try and watch his players coming through. He's One able to kill. pick up the streaks pretty easy, and he's oh. going to get taken out before he can get his Cerberus. So that is huge. Would have liked to use the Cerberus on the defensive end. Could have opted to use it on the offensive side as well, but and I think it would have been great on the defensive side of things. We've seen how good the Cerberus can be in hard point, obviously, but I honestly would be one to say that I think the Cerberus might even be better in CTF. You plop some trophies next to it. It can be just base it's defense for cap. you, but as you say that, Matt, it's looking like a counter cap. It's developing Aqua the last chance. Not going to happen. Streaks do appear to be getting pinged. I don't know if they've dropped They use a Hellstorm okay. in the process. The Hellstorm was used. Crim6 is going to start running this one, and he's got teammates all around him. This is going to be home free. Yeah, this is a cap for Optic Gaming. They've tied the game up one-to-one. -one. And I like the decision by Pacento not to use the Lightning as well. He had that Hellstorm hovered over tracks. His teammates started to drop. He tried to cluster it and take out one towards the end, but up to not use the Lightning Strike. I think you save that. CTF, you don't see you know, a lot of high scores from either side on this map, I think you can use that lightning strike in the last few seconds to create an opportunity for Elevate to steal this one. Skump now positioned in top barn. You can see this is his position, right? He said multiple times in interviews, even in listenings, when he gets to top barn, he is not leaving this area. His teammates have to make the plays around him. He'll just be a nuisance be nice to the opposing leave players. It to go grab the flag. Uh, well, definitely, that is barn, one, but, but hey, he needs his ARs to try to clear out this back rock and back barn area. So far, hasn't gotten much help as of yet. Vicento gives away his position. Skump's still playing this top area. You'll see him for as long as he's alive in this spot. Yeah, the one for Elevate, uh, actually, this is a really slow play, to be quite honest. I was going to say, there's one player actually making a really nice flank here. And Crimson is going to come behind a few player. Krim actually is using his dart in the process. Aqua's able to take out two. He's going to oh. take out Skump as well. Big three piece from Aqua. Oh, he's going and for now, a four. Yeah, they're going to go on the offensive. He has one player directly to his right. Does not spot Formal. Good defensive play there by Formal. Gets caught in mid YY. Karma with the submachine gun trying to hold off that orange side of the map. The blow push comes in. Beat down from Remy. It's a 1v1 in the Optic Gaming base. Remy going up against Scump. He wins that first engagement. Now more pressure beginning to come on in. Remy doing what he can to stay alive. He's in a great spot here, but he needs help, help, help from his team. Formal out positions him there. Wins that engagement and stays alive at Globe. Formal, beautiful stuff there to clear out his base. Optic Gaming just doing a great job staying alive. Remy held that off for as long as possible, but his teammates just did not get over in time. They all spawned out They're very far away oh, back. Gosh. You see Naga fans able to take out Skump there, but Crims able to trade it right out, and now the map's going to get reset, so to speak, with a minute left. Jack you Noaqua know, had a fantastic first half. Going to need, gonna need to see him continue that going into the second half of this thing, but if you're Optic, I'd like to see you try and push into Barn, get one more cap on the board. It's definitely still possible, and on the minimap, it is developing. Players about to push in. One does hop in. Aqua and Vicento, though, pre-aiming both of those main windows. They get the kills, and, well, you mentioned you want to see one more push. It gets shut down. One big factor. Everyone on Elevate ready with specialists. Not sure if I agree with that use of Heat Wave there, but maybe they're trying to go all in on this pressure. They realize they have 45 seconds. They've got a Scythe out as well. Kills going in their favor. Aqua in the 1v1. Can't get the kill on oh. Scope with Kinetic Armor. Scump with maybe the biggest kill of this half so far, and he's somehow still alive, finally. Does Scump fall. could not have played that any more perfect. He saw that Aqua had the scythe on his flag. He got behind that huge water tower and just waited for his teammates to get over and forced Aqua to make a decision. Am I just going to pre-aim this, wait for another play to grab the flag, or am I going to have to make a play on the objective? As soon as Aqua grabbed the flag, that's when you saw Scump jump out and challenge it. Fantastic play there from Scump. What a half from Aqua. 15-8, and eight, near double positive. Vicento at 8-8 eight eight with that first flag cap that came in just so quickly in this game. But at the half, it'll be tied up 1-1, one one and I I I'll say this, Matt. With Aqua going so big and Elevate really being tied at the half, I feel like Optic Gaming, they're going to realize, okay, guys, we got out of that with minimal losses. Let's really turn up for side two here. Make the statement series just like Wise Nation did against FaZe. Do you believe that Aqua has another half like that in him? I, I, I think I he does, but... I don't know. I don't know. He no, longer, he no longer has a top bar and window to shoot down from, that's what I'll say. I mean, who else is going to you know, really step it up? I mean, right now, it's been kind of slow from everybody on the Elevate side in terms of kills these last few respawns. 
going to need somebody else to come alive. I think Aqua can definitely have a pretty good second half, and I think you're really probably looking at Nagafen as the one if most likely to step up. He might have an opportunity to go for a pull here, unless this player white truck doesn't see him. And No, of course, it's Crip6, right? He's, he's going to expect the player to push on in. Aqua left by himself in Optic Gaming's base. He'll get cleared out, and while the first few kills did go in favor of Elevate, it's it's really quick uh, a quick cleanup job by Optic Gaming. 30 seconds into the side two, there's a pull opportunity now for OG. Skump grabs this and runs down tracks, and they kill Nagafen. This is Cap. He's hesitating right now. He's hesitating. Now the flag has been pulled. Facento sitting in this top Granny's area. Definitely still an opportunity for Elevate to stop this one. Oh, beautiful oh. streak from Facento. That's three kills from him to clear out his base. Matt, you mentioned how you love the decision to save that streak for a later moment in the game. Comes in clutch right there to well, stop that cap. And if you're an Optic Gaming fan, that's not the worst thing in the world. You bait it out of the side of Elevate within the first minute of this second half. So they're not going to have that streak to potentially be able to make a play on the offensive side of things. So if you're Optic Gaming, you can't really you know, be too down on yourselves that it didn't turn into a successful score. you got to think, hey, we got that lightning strike out of the side of Elevate. Now we just got to convert that same play again. Mission Pulse has popped. They know where Naga is. He's only able to pepper two players before any kills come in. Heat wave now being used. Remy left in the one on three to hold off his base. Oh, this is going to get tough for him. He, re he recognizes that. Love that decision to drop on back, play this angle, gets one. Pressure now beginning to come in, it's a sight, can't win that gun engagement. Formal actually shoots right through two. Optic Gaming have pulled this flag, and they have an opportunity to run it on out. Vicento, the last hope, but he's got a VMP! Somehow gets one kill. He's gonna buy a seed more time. Peaks again with the submachine gun. Not gonna convert the kill there, Matt. This is looking like a cap, unless Vicento could do something about it. And it actually was quite weird, like, why did Skump take so long to actually Pull that flag out of Grandma and over towards Tax as you see Formal put it in. And I actually think they might have thought that another player on the side of Elevate had streaks, potentially Aqua or Facento. So once they realized nothing was coming in, they were able to get that out. And you see Formal now getting that lightning strike. That's going to be huge with two minutes left. Kind of buys Optic the, you know, the insurance if they make a mistake that they have one of those streaks to potentially make a defensive stand. Yep, and, and one thing I will point out, if, if you thought this, this side looked a little bit easier for the likes of Elevate, Aqua now two and five. And as I mentioned, that Formal gets fully streaked out. He continues to impress on this championship Sunday. A major reason why Optic Gaming are about to eliminate Elevate in a 4-0 fashion. When he gets going, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. When, nope. he, when he's shooting like that and talking about formal, there's nothing that can stop this guy. I mean, such a smart player. He's so accurate. You see he's still on this streak, currently on a 7. He's going to drop and see Karma. Going to get taken out. Now Nagafen and Co. trying to make a play for the Optic base. Krim goes big with the L-Car. We've seen that a few times, Krim with the L-Car secondary. Oh, here are the smokes. There's the smokes. You see Pacento throw one outside of bar, and then he throws a nade. Potentially back players. Oh, look at that. He heat waves through it no, and tries to get out, but I it's think, formally I think able to take him out. Did he miss that heat wave completely? I think he popped it like a, a half a step too early. Now the, the Cerberus has been dropped. Oh, this is looking grim for Elevate fans. No one in the Optic Gaming base. Multiple streaks still ready for OG with only 90 seconds left. They need they need a, a blessing from the COD gods to make this one happen. Well, they can get a nice setup going. They have Vision Pulse on Nagafin. You're close to Kinetic, and you're close to the Scythe. So, with a minute 20 left, you might get the Kinetic, and it looks like you could potentially oh, get the this Scythe with about 30 it. seconds left. You see the Hellstorm this is coming. Be it. it takes out Naga, and Karma with the flag getting in a bar, and this might be the kill shot. You see another streak come wow. in. Formal's able to take him out. Optic Gaming puts a third flag on the board, and I agree with you, Jack. I mean, when it's only a one flag difference, you get some of those weapons and abilities and your potential to, you know, set up mid-map and make a play happen. But now down two, it looks highly unlikely. Matt, throughout this entire weekend, we've had close matches. Game 7, round 11s. Really, we only saw 1-4-0 before this championship Sunday. But now both semifinals are going to be 4-0s. And guess what? It's the one seed versus the two seed for the champion spot in the COD World League Stage 1 in North America. Yeah, well, it's going to be Rise Nation versus Optic Gaming and a lot of stories in this one. I mean, obviously, Optic, they're the number one team through Stage 1. They've proved today, obviously, winning this match that you know, they are back. They are looking very good. And... You know, they have a lot to prove, though, because Rise Nation, they've won both live tournaments thus far, going for that three-peat. It's a lot for both teams on the line. Yep. And I think if you're uh, Elevate, you take this loss, and you know, obviously it's a, it's a pretty brutal one at the hands of Optic Gaming, but you played very well in Stage 1. You looked great in the series against Envy. Some things wow. go differently in this series. You're able to potentially take it a little bit further, but it's Optic Gaming. 
taking out Elevate 4-0, securing their spot in the Grand Final. OG make Elevate look like light work. They get it done, 4-0. Matt, I'll be honest, people love the, you know, Optic Phase Grand Finals and the storylines behind that, but Rise Nation have called out Optic Gaming. They said, we want to face them, we want to prove to everybody in the COD scene that we can be three-peat land champions and we can be the best on land, and here's their opportunity. Now, crazy stuff there. Optic Gaming, make it look easy. And now our Grand Finals, Optic Gaming versus Rise. On the stage, we have Ashley with Scump. Ashley, take it away. Yeah, obviously there has been a change from yesterday to today. What is different between the team? Well, we're a lot more comfortable now. The first match for us on land for a couple months was yesterday, so it really took us settling in to perform at our best ability. So I think now we're going to give Rise a good match in the Grand Final. I was going to say, you don't have much of a break right now. Now you got to take on Rise. Are you at all worried about them? Um, I mean, they're a very good team. We've played them online a lot. We know what they do. They know what we do. So it's really going to come down to whoever plays the best. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to let you get backstage, get warmed up. Will, we're going to take it back to you. Thank you, Ashley, and congratulations, Scump and Optic Gaming. Moving on to the Grand Finals. Of course, the result itself, no one's too surprised, but yesterday had some people worried. Today, not at all. Woo, go Optic. That was a great job <laughs> by the green wall there, pulling away. Winning the 4-0. Uh, I'm a little disappointed for my, my guys on Elevate because I think they put up a really good fight yesterday against MVS. I thought they were going to bring a punch today. Unfortunately, that's just how it is some days in Call of Duty. It's either you're on one day and you're off the other or it's flip-flop. It's just whatever team's playing best at that moment is going to win. I know that sounds very logical, but a lot of people don't understand that. And Elevate's still a very talented team. I'm going to be looking forward to see what they do in Stage 2. Uh, but for right now, we're moving into a Rise Nation for, versus Optic Gaming Final. And, you know, I do think Elevate are a top four team in North America. I, I think it kind of goes, you know, optic.